First off, our sympathies go to the family of Bob Ernst, his extended family of friends and relatives in this area. Let me reassure the community that we believe that the perpetrators of this crime are in custody. The investigation is continuing and further contacts will be, will be made locally with individuals who still have knowledge that we haven't obtained regarding what happened in this case. Your law enforcement agencies worked in collaboration in order to resolve this terrible situation within just 18 hours. This team included members of not only the Sheridan Police Department, the Department of Criminal Investigation, the Sheridan County Sheriff's deputies, and the county attorney with his office. At this point, there are two juveniles in custody and one adult in custody. The adult is Dennis Poitra, Jr., age 19, of Sheridan. The two juveniles are age 16 and 15. The basic facts, we believe, are as follows. During the last several days, a handgun was stolen from an unsecured vehicle in the general area of the homicide by one of the juveniles who is in, currently in custody. Several juveniles and adults were involved in handling the gun after the theft. They went and shot it at a remote location. Three or four of this group, this consolidated group of juveniles and adults, planned on leaving town, but they lacked the funds to travel. So they planned to burgle several residences in town, a night of residential burglaries. The intent of the burglaries was to locate cash to leave town within unsecured residence here in town. After several initial attempts on that night uh, to approach homes were rebuffed. Uh, there were dogs in one case. Uh, somebody uh, was awakened, apparently. The juveniles were scared away and uh, walked down an alley behind the scene of the crime. The Ernst home was selected by the mere fact that the windows were open to allow the freshly cleaned carpets to air out overnight. During the course of the burglary that followed, Bob Ernst was shot. The investigation continues, it is continuing, it will continue, with a collaborative team, and we anticipate additional details as the matter is wrapped up. We're not able to offer a timeline, and we're not, uh, we're not saying that uh, there, aren't, there are additional people that are directly involved. But we're here to answer any questions we can, uh, given the constraints of the juvenile situation that, and the juveniles that are involved. <coughs> up here we have Sergeant Tom Henry, who was our case agent. Officer Scott Rostrup, our detective lead, he's in the detective bureau. And Captain Scott Chandler, uh, he's in charge of the uniform detective division, the, the peace officers. So if we can answer any questions, we'd be happy to do that at this point. Who's the gun registered to? Who's the gun registered to? Yeah, sorry? Who is the gun registered to? We're not sure yet. We've, we've got a lead on possibly where it came from. We do believe it was obtained from a vehicle somewhere in the, in the Sheridan area. So we're still trying to find that out and contact the owner, registered owner. What kind of gun was it? It was 9 millimeter. Any other questions? Do you know which of the three suspects actually fired the weapon? I, we do, but we can't release that information right now. Uh, later on in the day, we got some, uh, some tips uh, about uh, a vehicle that had been involved and some kids that had been involved. So our officers and uh, sheriff's deputies each stopped two vehicles individually with potential suspects in them. Uh, and uh, one of the sheriff's deputies uh, was one of our own council people, uh, Ryan Mulholland, who uh, was involved with the uh, the initial stop of the green, we'll talk about the truck uh, as, as stuff goes on later on in another release. Um, it, as far as I was concerned, it was a seamless, smooth operation. Um, it, it went well. We have uh, a pile of leads still to go through in order to solidify the case for prosecution. Uh, we, we brought out uh, our canine and another canine. I, 
I don't know who's it. Was. <coughs> this morning, uh, we brought out a canine, the search, search and rescue, search and rescue certified canine. I believe it was a blood, was a blood. It was a German Shepherd. It was a German Shepherd. Prior and to, we used ours in the sheriff's office. Right. We we did use, uh, through, I guess, three total canines in this, and uh, tried to get a track uh, in the alley area uh, after some evidence was found, and uh, it, we came up kind of empty-handed on that. But it did give us a, just a general direction of travel. Well, let's, let's also talk about, we, we forgot to mention our friends at Search and Rescue, who were so very helpful. Um, Search and Rescue was called out to search for what we believed was an area where evidence had been discarded. And uh, without them, we would have been at, at a loss uh, for searching an area. They have the certain ability to go in and check. Um, and behind the, uh, the property where the homicide occurred, there is a wooded area and ravine area a wash off to one point, uh, I'm trying to picture the, all this in my mind, uh, and they were able to go down there and do a, a, a appropriate search for additional evidence. We did locate evidence uh, subsequent to, uh, well, at nighttime, uh, observing a crime scene, you won't see everything that's, that's out there. That's why you set your perimeters wide, and as daylight approaches, you're able to segregate other evidentiary uh, areas. And that's what happened in our case. We were able to locate evidence that was some distance away from the main crime scene. And uh, we were uh, relatively certain that there would be additional evidence elsewhere. Uh, DCI, uh, when they showed up, they also brought DCI um, crime lab, the forensics people, who came up uh, and did a full uh, investigation of the residence where the crime occurred. And we'll, we'll wait uh, for that report to come in. They spent... Um, I would imagine seven to eight hours within the residence collecting evidence. There were uh, three agents from DCI, DCI up there uh, most of the day and sometimes four or five.